everybody. Wave those hands and glorify the King of Kings. Wave those hands and glorify the Lord of Lords. How I got over. Tell somebody how I got over. Say, neighbor, I've made it over. I've made it over. Amen. Praise God. Now, say, neighbor, it is good to be alive. Say, neighbor, it's all because of Jesus. Come on, tell somebody. How I got over. I got over because of Jesus. Amen. What's your pretty looks? Was not because of your friend. Now your husband, now wife, now your pastor. It was all because of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Sometimes the husband not there. Some husband God leave their wife. Some wife God leave their husband. Some pastor can leave the church, amen. Some mother can leave daughter. Some daughter can leave parents. But it's all because of Jesus, amen. So somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say neighbor. Now look at somebody and say neighbor. It's not because of you. It's because of Jesus. Clap your hands and give praise everybody. And you may be seated, amen. We want to work with time, amen. We're over in church, we're over in church too late. I don't want it to over early. So I've been talking to the leaders to give a meeting. But based on how things are going, things not going as supposed to be going. Because of what the Lord is doing. Amen. Can you say amen? I want to let you early you can come up to Sunday night church. Can somebody say amen? amen. Praise God. All right. So, um, you have heard about the prayer breakfast for Bronx. Amen. In the Bronx. Praise God. Bronx. <laughs> and I have, I have some tickets. Amen. So please see me after church. It's only 25 power of faith Bronx dollars. Amen. And of course, their prayer breakfast will be on the 17th of March, which will be a week after next. Things to Saturdays from now. Amen. Our own is this Saturday. Amen. Which will be at Canarsie, Liberty Hall, Banquet Hall. So please see me afterwards. And we want to go and support them. And we hope that the Redeemer is supposed to be singing over there. Hoping Sister Susan to be singing also over there. I hope we can have the musician very badly to go and play. Amen. And hope we have a cameraman that can go and camera. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. We need our support. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. We thank God that we are alive and well. And Jesus is still taking care of us. I want to greet my wife, Minister Evan Chambers. Can just tell the people to see you there? Amen. One woman in my life. Can we say amen? amen? Can say it on public TV and on private. Amen. One woman. Amen. One wife. Amen. And thank God she's not a knife either. Hallelujah. She's a good wife. Greetings to the deacons, deaconesses, prayer mothers, missionary evangelists, choir musician, cameraman, everybody. Accept Christian greetings in the name of the Lord. And those of you watching by television, we welcome you to the voice of deliverance. We know you have been blessed. You watch us on the internet around the world. We bless God for you too. Amen. Praise God. Let us understand and we say further at the end of the service. We want to start exactly 7 o'clock sharp tonight. 7 o'clock sharp. We hope to be out of here by the latest 830 did you hear us a while ago? We have a baptism tonight. I hope to be out here by the latest 8.30. No draw to service. Sing two songs. Exalt the candidates. We bury you. You get dressed. You give it off and you go home. Can somebody say amen? Praise God. God bless you. Please go with me. You know we're dealing with the topic from last week. 
Genesis chapter 19. And we're having some tremendous Bible study on Wednesday night. Many say I've been dealing with the doctrine of Satan. You need to come out and learn some stuff about the devil. One of the name of the devil is Come on. Lion. So in time for lying, you know who you're among. Come on, somebody say amen. Okay, Genesis chapter 19. We're going to have church today. I read again from the 15th verse to the 17 and verse 26. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened the Lord, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid a hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters. And the, Lo the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth, and set him without the city. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life, one. Look not behind thee, two. Neither stand on the plain, three. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed, four. Verse 26. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Put your hands, everybody. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we glorify you because you're true. We glorify you because you're precious. We glorify you because you're exalted and high. Lord, as your word go forth today, let your word go with power and with the anointing God. Anoint your servant to preach your word in Jesus' name. And before you take your seat, I just want you to look across to the pers closest person beside us and hello neighbor. Be careful what you choose. It may cost you greatly. Come on, tell them again. Say, neighbor. Be careful what you choose. It may cost you greatly. Now give God praise, everybody. Take a seat. Choice. The act of choosing. So when you choose... You made a choice. It says, things are person chosen. Range from which to choose. It said, power or opportunity to choose. So when somebody chooses something, they have the power to. They feel this is my right and they make the choice. Nobody forced them to do things at times. As we look into the scripture last week, we found where God was about to destroy Sodom because of what was going on in Sodom. Now, a lot of folks don't like to hear truth, especially when it has to do with that individual. Can somebody say amen? But it's only the truth will set you free. Nothing but the truth. So help me God, give God praise. So the Lord said he was about to destroy Sodom. And so we look back look like last week when the angels got into Sodom. And they went to the house of Lot. That the men of the city, young and old, surround Lot's house. Come past the house and said to Lot, bring out the men that came into you tonight. We want to know them. Otherwise, we want to have sex with them. And Lot says, Nay, my brethren. And we look at how can you call these men brethren? Because brethren supposed to be one flowing out of the same loin. So we see that Lot was mixed up with what was going on in Sodom. Can somebody say amen? And so Lot said, I have two daughters. Let me bring them out to you. And you can do with them what you want to do. That was a wicked act by Lot. Can somebody praise God? And so the angels pull Lot out, pull out his wife. And four important things when I look back at the scripture in this past week. 
the angel told them four important things. One, escape for thy life. Two, look not behind thee. Three, neither stay thou in all the plain. And four, escape to, to the mountain lest thou be consumed. Can somebody praise God? So they knew exactly what they should do. And when I consult the Hebrew word for escape, it means mala, which means to leap out, let alone, let go. It said to save speedily and surely. So they knew exactly what they should do. When God gives a word, God is serious about the word he gives you. If God was not serious, he would not tell you to do something. Glory to God. And we saw where Lot was lingering and the angels had to pull Lot and his wife out because the matter was of great urgency. And I come to tell somebody, it is of great urgency that you escape for your life. You know what God is saying to you. There are folks that hang around people. They know that things not going right. But they still linger around that individual. You need to run for your life. It may be in a church that you are. But they are not preaching the truth of the gospel. Don't stay here and die. Run for your life. Because time is at hand. And we are now living in a serious time. Give God praise somebody. Be careful. Of what you choose. It may cost you. Greatly escape for your life. And when I think about Lot and his wife, even when the angel brought them out, you see, God can do thus far for you, and you have to do the rest. God will not do for you what you can do for yourself. Oh, somebody give God praise here. So the angels brought them to a point and then the angel said, escape, run. When God deliver you, don't go back into sin. Come on, somebody. When God bring you out to a certain place, it doesn't matter what you leave in Egypt. Let it stay in Egypt. My God, if you notice, when God brought out Israel out of Egypt, they, God opened the way through the Red Sea and God made sure to lock it back. Why did God lock it back? He locked it back. He was saying, you're not supposed to go back into Egypt. And when God opened the way for you to flee, honey, don't go and get mixed up again in sin. Somebody give God a praise in this house. The angel said, escape for thy life. And this is an individual walk. Come on, church of God. I said, this is an individual walk. Sometimes when you talk to some people, well, I can't serve God yet because I'm not yet married and I love my boyfriend so much. I love my girlfriend so much, honey. If the man love you as you claim to be, he will marry you. Come on, somebody. Can I preach to somebody? If the woman love you as you claim to that she love you, she will marry you. Many times they tell you, you are the only woman in my life. That's a lie from hell. Down the road, them have a Sierra, them have Carol, and them have Audrey. Come on, somebody. And as soon as they fall out of love with you, they find somebody else. And then you have a broken heart. And you walk around with a broken heart. What happened to you? Me dear, the man gone leave me. The same man who you couldn't leave, him now leave you. Better run for your life. Now let no man leave you to suffer. Seek God. Love God with all of your heart. Give him praise in this house, somebody. The same man that you say you can't leave. You wait until death walks in. 
Him leave you whether you like it or not. And the same one that you didn't want to let go, you want to hold on. If a lady call, you want to find out who is it on the line. Jealousy would kill you. You want to hold on everything that the man have. Know him dead. You want to stay far as ever. Everything that is in the house, you want to get it out. And people tell you, all type of things, missus. You better turn your bed upside down. And they tell you, you better wear this color and wear that color. Honey, let this pastor tell you, when your boyfriend dead, him dead. Him either gone hell or gone heaven. Somebody give God praise. When your girlfriend dead, she either gone hell or gone heaven. You won't see his spirit or her spirit again. Come on, somebody. Don't let the devil fool you that you better wear something now because you and him used to have an affair and he may come back and won't play with you. Come on, if anything, play with you. A demon will play with you. But not that man or not that woman. Give him praise in the house, somebody. That's why it's an escape. Otherwise, when I was in prayer this morning, amen, seeking God, something was coming to me. He says, escape. Don't stay near. You know escape means when you need to flee. When there are some folks who want to see how close they can go to sin and no sin. Let me see how close I can get into this relationship and don't sin. Run for your life. You're no hero, hero, dead. Satan will not show you the end result. He will tell you, go ahead and try it. Nothing will happen, the liar. I was listening to news. I love to listen to news. 10, 10, CNN. A group of tourists went to, I think, Puerto Rico, one of these islands. One of those islands. Perry, whoever it was. And they were on a bus. Three muggers or robbers held up the bus or got on the bus and an ex-officer of the Marine held on to one of the robbers' neck. 71 or 73 years old. Come on, somebody. You see, the devil never show. Oh, can I preach in this house? The three muggers, what was about to happen? They made a choice to rob the bus. The devil showed them, look, these are tourists, so they must have money. But the devil never showed one of the men what would happen. And the news says, one of the men held on to that man's neck and he gave him such a hole that two run leave and one left behind. And the one left behind was dead. Can I talk to somebody? He made the wrong choice. It caused him greatly. Can I preach to somebody in this house? Satan will not show you what will happen to you when you make the wrong choice. He'll show you some pretty stuff. If this young boy knew that he would die, that day would be the last day on earth for him. He would not have tried to wrap the bus. And the worst part about it, in feel pain when he was alive, and now he's in a worse pain. Come on, somebody. It's kind of hard to have pain in the natural life and pain in the other life. But I rather to suffer for Jesus now and enjoy life forevermore afterwards. Somebody help me and give God a praise. He made a wrong choice. It cost him greatly. Cost him his life. He may leave a mother mourning. He may leave a father mourning. He might even leave a wife mourning. 
He might even leave some children mourning because he made the wrong choice. Believe he would got some money, but it cost him his life. Can somebody give God a praise? Testimony said, escape for your life. Run for your life. Come on, somebody. Don't stay near. Amen. Sin, run from sin. Don't stay near sin. Sin will mess you up. Can somebody say amen? Run as far as you can. Can somebody give God praise? Say neighbor, run as far as you can. Don't stay near sin. Sin is catching. Sin will contaminate you. And when sin done with you, it will leave you alone by yourself. You're not hearing Pastor Chambers. I said when sin done with you, my God, when look at some young girls today. And they're, they're in their teens. You wonder what things they're talking about. Because some take drugs and different men pass through them. They look so mash up and all of that. And when look at some sisters in the church who are 40 and 50 and match them with some of these young girls. You say, no man, somebody will destroy your age, right? Because when you live in the presence of God, when you live on your knees, when you pray and seek God, even when your age is supposed to be up there, God allow you to look like you're down here, sir. Because God promised to beautify the meek with salvation. Somebody help me and give God a praise. I said, help me and give God a praise. God will fix you up. If Satan mess you up, God will fix you up. He'll turn you around. He will carry you into his beauty shop. He change your bumper. He change your fender. He change your park light. He change your headlight. And he's not putting your either. He have too much spare parts. God no use putty. God no use body filler. Can I talk to somebody? God have too much fender and bumper headlight and backlight and when God done with you and put you on the market, even those who never like you, they're gonna come and run after you now because they see something they have never seen before. Say yes, somebody. Run from sin. Sin will mess you up. It is your life. Protect it. No man will protect you. I'm talking protect your soul. No woman will protect your soul. Only God alone give you that authority to protect your soul. Come on, somebody. You better protect your own soul. I told you last week, it's one soul you have. Soul doesn't sell at Bobby's or at Kmart or at Walmart or at Lasco in Jamaica. It's one soul you have. The Bible speaks about a man. I think it said Luke chapter 4, somewhere about in Luke. The God began to bless the man. He said, this will I do. I'll pull down my barns. Can I talk to somebody? I'm going to build a bigger barn. I'm going to say, soul, you have much goods laid up for many years. Eat, drink, and be merry. But the Bible says, the Lord said, no fool, this night thy soul is required of thee. And who shall these things be? There's some of you in my head right now. You've been planning what you're going to do. You forget you don't control yourself. You don't control the breath that you breathe. A God give you and God can pull the plug anytime. And when God pull the plug, oh, you're out of here. Somebody help me. Shout yes. Shout yes. It's time to serve God. I say protect the soul that you have. No man won't protect it. No power. 
today with a prize. I got to glorify God in my body, in my spirit, which belong to God. Shout glory. Say neighbor, protect your soul. Protect your soul. Say sister, protect your soul. Keep out malice. Can I preach deacon? Keep on lying, keep on resentment, keep on backbiting, keep on hypocrisy, protect your soul. Hey, 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 say neighbor, protect, 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 protect your soul. Shout hallelujah. Protect it, man. Say neighbor, protect it, protect it. Escape. Protect the soul. These are the things the Holy Ghost was given to me in prayer this morning. Protect it. Get in the word of God. Sing songs. Hymns. Spiritual songs. Sing praises to God. Sing and make melody in your heart to God. Come to church as often as you can. Have fellowship with the believers. You're protecting your soul. Shout glory, somebody. Protect your soul. Next thing, get to the prayer this morning. It's a let no man hold you down. Let no man hold you down. Well, you know, him love me, you know. And I really love him. <laughs> Ask any man who loves you if they go hell for you. <laughs> Mrs. Nana you know says, Me go hell for you. <laughs> Let no man hold you down. Otherwise, you know that God must be served. Yes. You know what God is saying to you. You are not ignorant. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. The Bible must get married first. They must get a career first. Said, seek first the kingdom of God. Come on here, church of God. It's time to get in your right mind. Let no man hold you down. Don't even you allow yourself to hold you down. Self can dictate to us at times. So you don't get what you want yet. You still have a number of years to live. The devil is a liar. Now is the time to serve God. Somebody help me and give God a praise. Brother Paul said, as he wrote to the church, I think it's one of those pieces. He said, shun the very appearance of evil. Come on, somebody. Don't stay near evil. Amen. Sometimes the devil come and he just waves something in front of your face. Honey, run from it. Come on. God been saying, I will show